Hey, welcome back to Mama TK's channel. Today, we are going to make some baked barbecue chicken. If you are new to my channel, I hope you enjoy this video enough to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave comments down below, and hit the like button. Let's get started. First, you're going to need some chicken. Now, me today, I have some leg quarters and some legs. Um, I got this chicken um, from straight from the factory. I have a whole case of it, so it's really not cut properly. I would have to go back and recut it, and I'm not doing that. Okay, what you're going to need to do is whatever kind of chicken you choose. I have leg quarters and legs in here. Um, wash your chicken in salt water and lemon juice. I have already done that. You're allowed to soak for at least 30 minutes to an hour. If you like for it to go two hours, that's fine, but at least 30 minutes allowed to soak. You're going to need some seasoning. I'm going to show you guys what seasons I have. You're also going to need a baking dish. This is just a small baking dish that I have, but I'm going to use another baking dish as well. Okay? Get some seasoning salt. Also, I'm using some Creole seasoning. If you like certain flavors, that's fine. You can use um, Jamaican jerk seasoning. I have some black pepper. And I'm going to use some paprika. That's all the seasoning that I'm going to use. Now, if you make a barbecue sauce from scratch, you can use that. But I just have some barbecue sauce I bought from the store. And also, a small amount of stock. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. And um, if you choose to, you can put onions on top of it. Onions do add flavor, or you can use onion salt. Okay, once you have washed your chicken and everything, you're going to season your chicken. Um, you just take your seasoning, you guys, like this, and just put seasoning all over your chicken. See how that, we're going to season one side of the chicken first. Not just the skin. If you can get under the skin, try to do that as well. Like, let me show you. See that? So, I put some seasoning on the meat as well. Okay. So, then, we got that Cajun seasoning. You're not going to use a lot of this because that Creole seasoning has some salt in it as well. So, just put a little seasoning salt on there. Trying to get it out, y'all. You want your meat seasoned, do it. Okay? Then we're going to put some black pepper on there. Now, the paprika is here to add color. You can also get melted butter. I forgot that, you guys. Just give me a second. And I'm going to get some butter. And we're going to melt the butter. Hold on, mom. Leave. I don't know. Can you grab her right quick? I'll get the bowl out. You really just ain't going to take your Guys, hold on. Hey, <laughs> Okay, you guys, I got my butter. I'm going to melt my butter right quick. And while you're doing this, preheat your oven to 375. Get you enough butter so when you get ready to put it in your pan with your chicken, you can pour it over all of the chicken to help create a color that's going to be nice and beautiful on your chicken. So I would say at least one and a half, one stick of butter, or maybe one and a half sticks of butter. Okay. Now I'm going to put this butter in the microwave. It's 
see, I got my butter. And I'm going to put this butter in the microwave. And allow that to melt while I finish continuing to season my chicken. Okay. Season both sides of your meat. Remember, the paprika is here just for color. Nothing special. Okay, so I have this side of the chicken seasoned well. I hope you guys can see it. I'm trying to move it so you guys can see it better. See that? I'm trying to come into the light, so. Now, as I have this side seasoned of my lead quarter, I'm going to lay it down, see, and I am going to season the other side. You guys, please stay with me now, okay? I'm going to season it with the same exact season as I have on the other side, Okay. I like to make sure it's seasoned all over so I take my time and I look at it. And yes, I'm going to do this for each piece. Each piece. Don't put too much seasoning salt on there because you don't want salty chicken. Okay. So now, remember the paprika is here for color and the butter is here for color. You're going to rub that in. Now, if you have onion powder, go ahead and use that. You guys, I'm out of my onion powder today. So, you guys, I'm rubbing it, the seasoning into this piece of chicken. See that? Y'all, stay with me. Stay with me now. Don't, I don't want to lose you. Okay? Rub that seasoning into that chicken really, really good. Okay. See how I got that chicken season? That way your meat's gonna have flavor. Okay. Now I'm gonna finish seasoning my chicken and then I'm gonna pour the butter on it. So you guys please stay with me. Cause I'm gonna have to use two dishes, but for this video, I'm just gonna show y'all one dish. Okay. After I finish seasoning this chicken, you guys, Creole seasoning is really good. I know most people like to use they kind of seasoning. Like I said, you can use jerk seasoning. Um, most of the time, it's just to I, to your liking. But I like to make sure I had black pepper on there. And um, if you got onion powder, trust me, that's a big one. Chop an onion up and put it on there. My kids don't like onion. So that's why I'm not using onion. I got to show y'all again. Make sure y'all see the seasoning on this chicken. See? Rub your seasoning into your meat. Okay? Okay, this going to be the last one. I think I might be able to get into this dish. Okay. Remember the paprika is just for color. You guys leave in the comment section some um ways that you guys bake your chicken. Like what are some things that you guys do to it? Okay. Now, I got this chicken good and seasoned, you guys. I am going to put my butter on top of this chicken. Okay, let me wash my hands. 
Now, if you want to, you can marinate your chicken in the seasoning overnight for however long, at least eight hours if you want to, and make it have more flavor. You can chop the thing up for the marinade as well. Uh, a few more minutes, y'all. I know I said that was all the season I want to use, but I'm still gonna go back and add a little adobo seasoning. I, I really like flavor on my chicken and I'm ado adobo seasoning and add some good flavor. So why that um butter had to go just another minute. I'm gonna come back and I just add that adobo seasoning. Then I'm gonna get ready to put this in the oven. And we're gonna bake it cover for 45 minutes and then we're gonna bake it again for another um 30 minutes so now i'm gonna pour my butter on the chicken See this, you guys? I'm going in with the bug. Okay. See that? Hold oh, this camera over so y'all can see. See that, you guys? I know you guys like, oh my. Just trust me. It's going to be so delicious. Very delicious. Let's set this camera back. I don't have my camera crew today to help me because you know you guys know they in school, the kids. And um the chicken stuff. Just a day up. Just a day up. Because you don't need a lot of water because this chicken gonna have a lot of juice itself coming out. So we just want flavor. That's the only reason why pouring the chicken stock to create flavor. The barbecue sauce is gonna come later after the first 45 minutes. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna put this in the oven and I will be back. Okay, everybody, I have taken the chicken out of the oven, and what I'm about to do now is get ready to put the barbecue sauce on it. It was in the oven for 45 minutes. Okay, everyone. This is the chicken. It is out of the oven. Let me let you guys see it. Okay, so now we have that out of the oven. We're going to put this on here. What you do to me? I'm recording, guys. Okay, so now I'm putting this barbecue sauce on here. I'm gonna let this cook. For about um, another 35 to 40 minutes. I'm gonna say about 35 minutes. It may 35, yeah, let's do it another 35, 45 minutes. Okay. I have two pans of this. You guys, what I, the reason why the barbecue sauce is in here because I added some brown sugar to it and stirred it around. Um, we have this juice in here to keep this chicken moist. So that's what's gonna happen from there. Okay. 
Let me hold this up so you guys can see. The dish is still kind of hot. Okay. As you guys can see, I put the barbecue sauce on it. That's my juice. I didn't put that much in there. As you know, chicken can make its own juice. I still want y'all to see it good. So. That is the sauce on the barbecue chicken. And I'm going to put it back in there for 45 minutes. And when the product is finished, you guys, I will be back. Okay, everyone, this is the finished product of the baked barbecue chicken. It is scrumptious, it is delicious, it is moist. I hope.